so this is the problem on hollow cast iron column this is the problem on hollow cast iron column so first we will write down the given data see it is a hollow cast iron column and see external diameter is given and as well as internal diameter is given external diameter capital d i am taking it as 150 mm and internal diameter small d i am taking it as 100 mm see the length of the column is also given in the question see here it is not at mentioned whether it is actual length or effective length therefore if whenever nothing is mentioned we need to take it as a actual length so actual length is nothing but 10 meters okay see here the end conditions are also given see one end is fixed and the other end is hinged so when one end is fixed and the other end is hinged we are having a formula of calculating effective length effective length can be calculated by using the formula actual length by root 2 actual length by root 2 so here they have given us to use the Euler's formula you know the Euler's formula p e equal to pi square e i by l square see this is nothing but effective length this is nothing but we need to use here effective length therefore pi square into see e value is already given in the question e value is given as 95 giga newton per meter square see 95 giga newton per meter square or or 95 into 10 cube newton per mm square both are one and the same okay so now you can substitute the value here 95 into 10 cube into see i is nothing but moment of inertia see for a moment of inertia for a hollow cast iron column is pi by 64 into capital d power 4 minus small d power 4 see capital d value is already known to us 150 mm small d value is also known to us it is nothing but 100 mm therefore substitute the values divided by effective length is already known to us l by root 2 so nothing but actual length is given as 10 meters therefore nothing but 10,000 mm by root 2 so nothing but 10,000 mm by root 2 whole square okay so the value comes to be 374 kilo newton 374 kilo newton see it is actually Euler's load carrying capacity of the column but here we need to find out the safe compressive load safe compressive load is nothing but Euler's load carrying capacity divided by factor of safety so Euler's load carrying capacity we already calculated it is nothing but 374 divided by factor of safety is nothing but 5 therefore the value comes to be 74.8 kilo newton okay so with this we have completed a problem on hollow cast column